Hi, it's John. It's uh, 26th of January 2014 and on Friday I had to take Helen to Sherbourne Railway Station because she was catching a train to go to Manchester to uh, somebody's 60th birthday party. And whilst I was there I thought well I'll go to the garden centre and um, I bought quite a few things, but here's one thing that I bought. It's um, some seed potatoes. And uh, they're home guard. Um, see in the bag. And what attracted me to them was that they're, um, they're chitting, chitting very well. So they've got very good eyes. And um, look at that. They're a little bit, little bit long. Uh, that one's got three, eye, three eyes on there. So really, what I ought to do? Well, I'll, I'll take one off anyway, because this one's doubled up right by the other one. But what I quite often do is um, cut the potato in half. That's got two, two eyes in. So I'll leave those for now, and um, I'll set them out in the box. You set them out in the box in the light. <laughs> Somebody was telling me how they set them out and they put them under the bed. Well, you, if you put them in the dark, they're going to get very long, straggly shoots off. You, what you really want is some um, tight ones. And these got lovely uh, eyes on to start with. But, of course, they won't be able to go out for a long time. Um, one of the traditions is that you put them out on Good Friday. You plant them in the ground. Well, I reckon that the best way to think of the last frost in the UK is the second week of April. Well, that's um, two and a half months away. I'll leave those two off because they might be connected. Um, but you can put them out, say, I don't know, three weeks before that. So, um, so we, it's a month and a half. So you don't, you don't really, really don't want a lot of is stuff cluttering up the place for all that time. Like <coughs> normally, I plant my t tomato seeds on Christmas Day because I saw it on a film on the television, an English film, and this man always planted his tomato seeds on Christmas Day, and that's what I've always done in the past. And then the trouble is. By the time of March, the whole of the conservatory starts to get full of plants and things, and and it, it becomes a bit of a burden. So this year I haven't planted anything yet, but I am thinking of just planting some tomatoes and possibly some cucumbers because I got some. I also bought some cucumber seed, and they're all female, and they're disease resistant. Well, in the past I've got had a lot of trouble with disease on um, cucumbers so um, I'm really hoping that these will be good <coughs> I think there's five seeds in the packet and what I'll do I might sow, sow two of them and then uh, sow, sow them the others later because you don't want all the cucumbers at the same time do you uh, and I've got some cucumber seeds anyway did I say these these uh, potatoes are home guard um, and they're only about one pound eighty a kilo so they weren't they weren't any more expensive than potatoes you buy in in the shop um, what have we got one two three six nine but I've got, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet I think I'll probably um, let them chip for a few days or a few weeks and then plant them in some pots I think and then, uh, and then once I've got them in pots, quite big pots, then I can decide what to do with them and plant them out a bit later on. Um, but they just attract you. Know, you see so them, you think, oh, they look nice. And you think, do you think the spring's here a bit earlier than what it is? I remember last year I wanted some like this for planting a greenhouse, and uh, I asked for some. Are they chitting yet? I said. And, the, and somebody looked at me. It looked at me as if I was odd, but you do see them about. Um, 
because I've got uh, I've got what have I got two greenhouses and polytunnel, so I, I've got some some areas to plant things under cover. Um, but uh, another problem is if I plant them out in the polytunnel, I don't think it'll be very good to follow the potatoes with tomatoes. Um, another problem I get is if I plant potatoes indoors, I tend to get that white fly on the shoots. So there's all sorts of what you might call uh, there's a serpent in every garden. There's all sorts of problems, but um, you've got to give it a try, haven't you? Home guard. Right, bye for now.